Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Leo. If Leo is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. Alright, let's get started. Let's see, what do we have in these tea leaves tonight? Okay, so, let me turn this light a little bit. I changed it from my last reading. Okay. I feel like this is just off just a little bit, and I apologize. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's drop that. And so, our card tonight is the star. One of the more beautiful cards in the Thoth deck, in my opinion. I love the purple and blue. Really? Okay, turn that off. I like this little series of <laughs> formations down here. And we'll start down here. So we have, it looks like a garbage can, a person uh, throwing some garbage into the can and close getting ready to close the lid, okay? Um, we also have a person standing here holding uh, something, right? They're in motion. Um, and so, I feel like, with the star card in mind, um, these the star card is often related to uh, goal setting, dreams um, that are kind of far off, they feel like maybe unobtainable. They're out there, um, you know, in the night sky. This looks not unlike <laughs> the mini stars out there. Um, and so I think you have a lot of goals. You have a lot of hopes. You have a lot of dreams. You're a Leo. So you're always very active trying to obtain, uh, you know, different levels of um you know all sectors of your life you are not very often um still <laughs> always in motion right um and so i feel like there's been a time where uh there there there's been a dream maybe like something you conceived uh as a young adult, maybe a teenager, something, um, not as a child, you know, not, not completely naive. Um, although those are beautiful dreams. Uh, but you know, you had some understanding of the world. Um, and you know, it's just something that you really wanted for yourself. Now, um, I feel that life has happened, right? circumstances have changed so many times since then um, and it's something that you kind of felt like you had to throw out you know for whatever reason maybe it just got deep uh, prioritized maybe you just kind of felt like I'm never gonna be able to accomplish this this is not something for me to dwell on um, and so I see kind of throwing it into that garbage can right um, but now we have this beautiful formation here and it almost looks like they've reached up into this vast night sky which 
I, fe I feel like are a symbol of not only your goals, your hopes, your dreams, aspirations, um, but also uh, your ability and, um, you know, your, the uh, actualization, okay? So I feel like kind of going up there, pulling it out of the sky is kind of like a symbol of you have gotten close or you have gotten there. You are really obtaining that goal, okay? You are meeting it. So now I see we turn this over and it looks like the person's standing here and now the trash is kind of upside down. It's kind of falling out. And I see this person, it looks like they're holding, you know, the thing over here and they are pointing up to this um, this is on the rim here. I consider this our, uh, you know, um, <laughs> metaphysical, divine, um, religious, spiritual, psychic zone. Okay. And I feel like pointing up there saying, um, this, this is like a holy moment for you. Um, that thing that you gave up on or, um, you know, kind of threw into the trash in your mind, like, uh, I'm never going to do that. Um, something has aligned. Some opportunity has or will be shortly presenting itself so that you may meet this goal. You may activate this dream, this aspiration has the, you know, likelihood to come to pass, right? Um, and I think it's going to kind of blow you away. I think that you really, um, you know, this has been a long time desire. I feel like you've achieved a lot of things in your life, but whatever this is, it's kind of like, um, you know, like one of those markers where you're like, Okay, this is like, I really feel like in some ways I've arrived into, you know, the higher aspects of my uh, being, okay? And so I feel like this is really such a blessed time for you. Um, a lot of growth. Now I do see the compass here. And if you um, know what the, the compass is like a... a a drafting tool. <laughs> Am I going to be able to find the word? Yes, a drafting tool. Um, uh, and so, basically, we'll use this without a lot of detail, but laying your plans, making your blueprints, okay? Um, so how are you going to make use of this success, this fortune, this um, beautiful uh, miracle. <laughs> it's not really a miracle, but it kind of is. It's not a miracle in the sense that you've worked for this. It's not just something that's going to land in your lap. You work hard. You have worked hard for this. You have set things up in your life so that you may receive this opportunity, this blessing. Now, you're going to have to spend some time deciding how are you going to, you know, potentialize this thing. Um, do not waste it. And I know that you won't. Okay. Um, this is going to be really powerful, really potent for you. And um, whatever it is, I think it really is going to kind of set the tone for the next years of your life. Okay, this is like one of those things, those rare occurrences in life where everything shifts, okay, and you are devoted to it, you know. The way that it feels to me is like kind of how it was when um, I had a kid that's, you know, uh, for some people they, you know, they have a kid and it's, they it doesn't change their life a ton, right? I mean, of, of course it does, but, um, you know, for whatever circumstances or reasons, maybe not a lot. Um, but then there are some people like me where, uh, I was just, you know, living that, <laughs> that life where it's like, 
I never I was like a cat mom you know and and being a fur parent is wonderful of course I love it but um, I was not thinking of conceiving of having a child at all and so when it happened and I decided to devote myself to that path it changed everything I mean every single thing I don't even really remember what it felt like before you know that's just I mean it, it just changes your reality to that extent and I believe that whatever this is that is um, happening for you is not unlike that it will change things for you for you on all levels of your life and I think that this is a welcome change so make those plans I also see a person sitting here. It looks like they are in a state of devotion. I also see a person here on their knees as well in a state or posture of devotion. So um, I really think that I think it's important for you to um, in some ways and however this looks for you, right? There's um there's no prescribed way, in my opinion, my humble little opinion, um, that um, there's any way to, to, there's any one way to show devotion to, you know, prayer, um, you know, making offering, votive, um, just showing up, right? Being present in the moment. Um, whatever it looks like to you, if it is high, you know, highly complex ritual ceremony, or if it is, you know, showing up and just being there, doing your best, being prepared, right? That's a big one. Being prepared, um, being on time, <laughs> being um, ready to, you know, um, partake in this project, in this work, in this, um, you know, in this love, in this experience you know that that's a true act of devotion um it doesn't have to be some ornate thing although if that's the you know if that is uh your inclination you know by all means that's wonderful too all and everything in between um it doesn't have to look like anybody else's thing uh of course so um i think that though you know, the gratitude should be there. The um, devotion, honoring the path, yourself, the divine, however that looks for you. Um, all of these things, of course, not necessary, but they put you into a place where you are ready to succeed. I mean, really puts you, I think, um, mentally, intellectually, spiritually, physically, um, all of, all of it kind of, you know, aligns emotionally, um, you know, and so let's see, what else do we have going on? It's a lot of, I saw this, I thought, is this going to be usually when they're scattered like this? I'm like, okay, there's a lot of anxiety happening. I don't think it's anxiety so much as, like I said, these are, these represent your, um, your aspirations, the things that you want, the things you want to do, all of those little shimmering hopes, right? And, um, you know, I think this is going to be a wonderful time for Leo. Okay. So I kind of see an eagle's head here. Um, and the rest of it feels just really like m a little bit of motion, but um, there we have some element of emotionality down here, okay? And the only thing that kind of, I think, 
I think what it is is that there is a sense of um, like anticipation, uh, anxiety to some degree. There is a sense of like, uh, you know, that saying like, be brave, dear heart, you know, um, you know, remember yourself. Okay. Um, and know that when we obtain the things that we have set out for, it's not always fireworks, right? Sometimes it's a letdown. I mean, let's just be honest. Um, sometimes though, I think that, um, we meet, you know, we meet that level, we meet that thing and then immediately think, okay, we got to level up. We got to keep going. We got to keep pushing. So I feel like this might be kind of the thing. If this is like, you know, getting a job, um, going to a school that you want to go to, um, you know, I don't know, starting a business, whatever. I mean, it could be, it could be whatever. I mean, there's so many things you could be, uh, you know, running marathons and you want to do, uh, more marathon, more difficult things. Um, you know, uh, more training. I don't, you know, whatever it is, but I feel that you will get to this place and you will, you will, um, enjoy it, but you will quickly have other goals. Okay. So, um, you know, don't, uh, don't unravel. <laughs> no, um, just, you know, let it, let things go naturally. But I feel like you're just in a place of really succeeding. Um, it's been wild for you, uh, these last few months that I've been doing, you know, while I've been doing re the readings on here for, I don't know, almost a year, I guess, but these last few months, it seems like we've had a lot of success, Leo. And I think that it's just continuing. Um, so resetting some goals, you know, having bigger dreams, maybe. Um, and, you know, knowing that sometimes it's just maybe not what you thought it was going to be. That's okay. Keep pushing forward. You know, don't linger in it for too long. Okay, let's see what we have here. It is the lightness of being affirmation cards. And last week we did the indigo sage, which were the air. These are the earth. And I'm just going to go ahead. And these are so beautiful. I love the, the paintings on them. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of go through here. And I'm going to... Ooh, this one's pretty. We have some pretty lips and <laughs> um i think that they're fairies on here on the other the other cards so this one says universal love trust enjoy the internal spring in your open heart boundless love blooms so there you go you know um i think as you achieve things i feel like uh, especially for Leo, for a fire sign, um, continuing to scorch on or, <laughs> um, to keep pushing for, um, wider, vaster, uh, things. This really is kind of one of your love languages. Um, you just have, uh, a passion unlike most other people. And, um, it really, you know, it really shows in, um, your ability to find love in so many things, enjoyment in so many things, uh, just, you know, try not to get frustrated. That's the, you know, that's, I think where you get sometimes caught, caught up a little bit. So, all right. All right, my last reading for the night. I'm going to bed right after this. <laughs> so I'm very happy about that. And I'm very happy to have been able to spend this time with you. If you'd be so kind as to like the video, it helps us get into the algorithm. And as we know, the algorithm kind of decides everything. Um, you know, how far the reach of this video is. And um, of course, that helps build the channel up. So... 
um, if you would be so kind as to like the video, uh, that helps a lot. Some other ways you can help but aren't, you know, I'm not going to say please, please, please do it, but I will mention. So if you know, if you want to know, um, sharing the video on other social medias, watching the readings from the beginning to the end. Uh, if you have not subscribed yet, please do. Um, you can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next videos are coming out. Uh, between now and the next um, Leo, you can watch your other placements, your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising, um, Venus. I know a lot of you like to watch your Venus for, um, for love stuff. And uh, also cross-watching. So... What else? Oh, yes, the comments. <laughs> I was like, I know this. I always get to the comments part, and I'm like, what, <laughs> what was I going to say? <laughs> um, so, uh, yes, uh, if you want to leave a comment, please do. I love hearing from you, um, all of you. And um, I read every single one of them. They mean so much to me. I love getting to know you all. Here comes TT. She's going to talk to you. <laughs> she's singing she's saying mom let's go to bed <laughs> um so uh what else oh yes i read them all and i reply to them all so sometimes it takes um you know a day or two i'm a little behind we had a lot going on today but tomorrow I'm staying home i'm mowing the lawn and i'm doing my comments so um we'll get back on track all right Leo, I love you. I thank you. And um, we're going to talk in just a few days. All right.